Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell laptop. This one is a Dell Inspiron 5570. The regulatory model is a P75F. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop if you ever want to know. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the battery, remove the battery if you need to. It's really simple and it's not hard to do. I'm going to go over the tool that you're going to be using for this process. Tool number one would be a screwdriver set. As always, I recommend you guys to grab the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are S2 class steel. That means they will last you many years. And if you get the pro version, you will get some opening tools, tweezers, and a few other stuff. But if you don't want to get the pro version, get the simple set. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So grab uh, one or two metallic guitar picks. And with these two on hand, uh, we're going to power off the laptop completely. And on the bottom, we're going to see a few screws. We're going to remove all the screws. The screws on the corners in here at the back, they have a C lock on them, so they will not come out entirely. So you just have to rotate and it will just stay there like a half out like that so remove the ones that actually come out and the ones don't come out just leave them there just lose them up go ahead and do this for all of them and remove the two in the middle too also if you guys like my videos and you want to support the channel you can do that by clicking that like and subscribe i'll greatly appreciate it it will motivate me to make motivates me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area i really appreciate that the front end the screws, they do come out pretty much. This one is a short one. This is for a DVD drive. I don't know what is this for, but this one was a pretty short. So keep that in one different pile. Once we remove most of the screws, now what we need to do is to open up the screen a bit. Let me see if it is a big screen. And we're gonna grab the opening tool. And we're gonna stick it right between the bottom cover and the pomeris right there. And what you want to do, you just want to twist it back and you want to hear a big clank. That big re uh, sound that you hear, that's fine. That's what you want to hear. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that all around in the front end. Work yourself to the side, towards the back corner, all the way to the back corner, left and right side. I'm not left-handed, so I'm going to try. There. I did the same thing on the left and the front side. Once you did those, now you can put it close and put it face down. Grab the bottom corner, wiggle it around, lift it up, and it will release the bottom cover. So this is screw that we removed. The short one was for the DVD drive because there's a space for a kind of DVD drive, but they never installed it. So they had to make some modification. There's a lot of fillers here. But yeah. Anyway, so remove the bottom cover, and here you're going to see the battery right in front of you. The battery can remove it two ways, from the battery or from the connector from the motherboard. When the battery is being held down by four screws, one in each corner, one, two, three, four. First, we're going to remove the screws. This is the internal battery, but if you want to remove the BIOS battery, this is the BIOS battery. This is a CR2032, which has a two cable soldered on it. It goes to the jack. You can just purchase the battery, solder the cut the cables and solder it to one and put a shrink wrap and put it right there. So yeah. Anyway, so back to the normal battery internal. So pick up the battery and bring it back a little bit. Now, from here, you can pull this jack, put your fingers right on the hooks on the jack on the side, and then you want to pull it back. You have to wiggle around and it will come out eventually. Okay. Now we can remove the battery from here. It should be a kind of jackish to remove, so you can just pull it out right there. So when you buy the new battery, it will give you like this. They will not give you this cable, so you need to remove the cable from the old one and put it right through. Once you have the battery, this one, the model for this one, the battery type is a WDX0R. So that's the model for this one, and I don't see any other model information. That's the same one right here, WDX0R. So yeah, 
Once we get the new battery, so what you want to do, connect the connector right there, set it inside right there with a little offset or just align it, doesn't matter. Now you want to put this jack inside there, it's straight in, don't go sideways, and you want to push it right towards the jack, make sure it goes all the way nicely inside. Once you have the battery in there, you want to just grab the four screws that you removed from the battery, one from each corner, and just screw it down. You don't have to do a really tight screw, just firmly put it in place. So Now remember, once you remove the battery, if you remove the battery for the BIOS and you power on, it might take about 5 to 10 seconds for it to show any boot screen, so don't panic, just be patient, and it will eventually boot back on. And once you finish with that, now you want to grab the cover, bring it over, align the it down the straight. You want to push down the corners, the mid back, and you want to hear those big clicks. That's what you want to hear. Now let's go ahead and put the screws, the ones that are actually sticking out. So put the one in the corner and it will pull the case towards itself. So put those screws in. Remember the short screws goes in the middle. And then if you see any gap openings right there like this, what you want to do, you just want to grab it and pinch them together, just like that, and you want to hear a big click right in the corner here, right there. That's what you want to do. All right, now for the finishing it up, you just place all the screws that you remove for the bottom casing. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you did, please click that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the screws on here.